The ketogenic diet is another one of those issues in the bodybuilding world where there is so much conflicting information. And it is very hard to get your head around how they work and whether or not they are any good. So I'm going to explain to you what a ketogenic diet is and how a ketogenic diet works and whether or not you should use a ketogenic diet whilst trying to drop body fat. So what a ketogenic diet is, it is a diet consisting of a very high protein, a moderate amount of fats and extremely low to basically zero carbs for extended period of time of your choice. Normally ranging anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks depending on how much fat you want to lose. The only form of carbs you consume are of ketogenic diet are the provigious carbs. The only ones the ones that come from your green vegetables, like green beans and broccoli, etc. I will start in the video with the positive effects you will get from following your ketogenic diet. The way the human body works in terms of dropping fat is very simple. If you, cons if you are consuming more calories than what your body burns on a daily basis, you will gain weight. And if you are consuming less calories than your body burns, on a daily basis, you can almost guarantee you are going to drop fat, literally every day. You might think that this is awesome and this is exactly what you want, and I know for a fact that there's so many coaches and so many fitness athletes out there who promote ketogenic diets, and there is so there is they promote their, to get their clients eating basically zero carbs every day. But like I said, the cons far out more than the pros. So in terms of positives of a ketogenic diet, all I can literally think of is what, if you want to lose fat very fast, that is all. Number one, why would you want to live like this? Have you actually sat down and thought of what life would actually be like eating zero carbs per day, every day? No bread, no oats, no milk, no pasta, no rice, no nothing. Literally, meat, vegetables, nuts, and salads is all you can consume seven days a week from anywhere from six to 12 weeks. You may or may not be allowed to cheat meal depending on how strict you want the ketogenic to be. I always advise one cheat meal per week. I often say to people and on my posts, you can, you've got to do what you've got to do to get to where you want to be. This is very true. This is very true, but I also advise you to take the smartest and the most logical approach on what you want, what you're going to get. An officially and most effective way. And, the, and in this case, the ketogenic diet is not going to do it. So the number one negative leads is into the number two negative, is which is, which is your performance? I can speak from personal experience, which comes down to eating and ketogenic diet because I have tried it. The number one thing I noticed after week three or four weeks in the, how badly I was performing, not only in the gym but work as well. My family and, co and career are the number of the only two things more important to me than training. When I have literally zero carbs, I'm moody, I'm tired, I get irritated and drop, I drop a hat and I, want to, and I want to sleep. All I want to do is sleep. I'm very unproductive. So not only it is not enjoyable lifestyle, but it's actually instinctively decreasing productive and work at the gym. Number three, you are not consuming carbs post-workout. What happens when you break your muscles down in the gym is that is that when you were broke when they're broken down and torn up. And what you what you would normally do after you work out is eat a meal full of high geo carbs like white rice, white potato, which will spike insulin levels, ensure that nutrients from the carbs get soaked into your muscles, allowing them to recover and grow bigger and stronger. But if you're not consuming carbs post-workout, not only are you not going to grow, you're not, you won't recover either, your muscles are going to stay torn, apart from literally will not grow back bigger and stronger. One might argue that you don't care about building muscle. All I want to do is drop fat, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, and good, and good on you. You love your attitude. 
plan on what you're going to do. Learn how we learn how to do things properly. Get professional help. But before you start dieting, give yourself enough chance to be successful. Because the motivation you you would get from successful dieting period is very different to what you would feel if you failed. If you're going to do something, do it properly. I don't want you to set yourself up to fail because if that is what you're going to, because that is what's going to happen. I believe I am very mentally strong and I see failure as a, as a good thing. If you fail dieting once, you fail dieting twice and the weight comes back on, the chances of someone not as mentally strong as me or listening to, to this, work, you work your butt off, no carbs for a month and months, the weight off, it's just, it just comes back on. So if not worse, plan it properly, be successful, reach your original goal and then set some new ones. Then you'll reach them and so on. Not, so this is get your amazing physique and just set a heap on. Smash them all out and move on to bigger and better things. No crash diets, you, need, you don't need to. Do it properly.